Two Auckland women have locked horns over the fate of a sickly goat who was picked up from a roadside paddock amid concerns he was on death's door. Zeus the goat was living on a lifestyle block north of Auckland but was removed last week by neighbours who say he'd been lying down unable to move for five days. But Zeus's owners say that's rubbish and the people who claim to have rescued him actually stole a beloved family pet who they urgently want back. Our reporter Nita Blake person and cameraman Nick Monroe went to investigate. Emaciated with open wounds and eye infection and struggling to move, when Charmaine Walmarans first saw Zeus last Tuesday, she thought he was dead. She claims his owners were waiting for him to die. And he was just lolling his eyes and he was stiff. He has, there's no way that he was standing up the next day. Charmaine says when she begged them to let her take him, a man at the house said yes. She spent hundreds of dollars at the vet and has been caring for him around the clock ever since. Every four hours we give him VGs. It's a supplement that the vet has given. And um, so every four hours we'll inject him with it and then feed him molasses, goat nuts and all kinds of things. But he's slowly. It's a, it's, it's a very slow process. She's plucked maggots from Zeus's open wounds and has helped him get back on his feet. He's got a story to tell. But this hasn't been a straightforward rescue. A few days after Charmaine picked up Zeus, she got a message from his owners demanding he be returned. She refused, saying she feared he would die there. And when she posted about the situation on Facebook, Zeus's owners contacted the police complaining their family pet of five years had been stolen. The landowners put in a complaint of theft when in fact permission was given for the goat to go to the rescuers and now they've backtracked and said that never happened when in fact permission was given for the goat to go to the rescuers. Zeus's owners refused to be interviewed here today but they did tell us there was never any neglect of the goat here on this property. They say he was a family pet and they want him back but neighbours say they have their concerns. There are still two alpacas and two donkeys on this property and they're worried about their lack of access to shelter and adequate food. Charmaine's been supported by Linda Nunn from the Animal Rehoming Charitable Trust. Linda says Charmaine has done the right thing rescuing Zeus. He was lying in a paddock in torrential rain, unable to get up for five days with a dead paddock mate next to him, so he's been through a lot. I don't think he should ever go back to the property he's come from. This morning there were tears from Charmaine as the SPCA collected Zeus and took him to their Mangere shelter while it investigates the situation. Just what is wrong with Zeus is still unclear, although Charmaine believes he could be suffering from a serious bacterial infection. But it's what comes next that worries her. I don't have much hope that they will give him round the clock care that like we did but I'm guessing for now it's the best. I'm just praying that the SPCA doesn't let him go back in a month or two because it looks like they they might have to. And she has a message for Zeus's owners. Ideally you shouldn't have animals. You are too busy. You you acknowledge that to me that very, very busy lifestyle. Um, you can't really take care of animals. Late this afternoon, one of Zeus's owners sent Checkpoint a statement saying she had been a victim of abuse on social media as a result of Charmaine's Facebook post. She said she was an animal lover, but her name had been dragged around Facebook in a nasty, vitriolic, vindictive way because people hadn't sought the truth. Meanwhile, the police say having spoken to everyone involved in the stash, they are confident no crime has been committed. For Checkpoint, Nita Blake person. And just to add to that statement, Anita received a short time ago, the owner reiterates Zeus has never been mistreated or starved and lives in a vast paddock full of grass and buttercups with access to a water bore where he is also hand-fed pellets and vegetables. She says she respects rescuers who protect neglected animals but vigilante justice is not okay and her family is not known to the SPCA in a negative light. She denies Zeus's uh, dead mate was lying dead next to him when he was taken. She says the guy was buried two weeks earlier and she argues Zeus's health has declined rapidly since Charmaine took him and she just wants her little guy back so he can live out his days in peace.